Man, the Sweet Baby Ink stuff is just absolutely fascinating, and it appears it's going to continue for quite a long time. Hey, everybody, I'm Craig. Welcome to the Side Scrollers channel. Make sure you join us Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Central Time for our live show. All right, so here's the thing. We got this show. We got this game. It's called Awakening. Well, actually, it's called Unknown 9. It's coming out uh, in 2024, and word has been getting out about this game. Why should you know about it? It's probably not on your radar. It hasn't been on your radar, and I totally understand. Nobody's known about this game. They've been working on this game for several years, and by who? It's this company called Reflector Entertainment, published by Bandai Namco. That's the same company that does, uh, you know, Tekken, Tekken 8 and, uh, you know, all the Dragon Ball games. Well, there's a brand new IP that's coming out. By the way, it, <laughs> that's to be very, very honest. The uh, branding on this Unknown 9, it's not the best branding, like, to start to launch something. It doesn't have a very cool title. And it has a subtitle and all already. But anyways, that's beyond the point. Uh, the premise of this game is very simple. You're this, um, you're this person. You, you can kind of take over people's bodies and cause them to do bad things and to, to, like, to their allies and stuff. Uh, if you're going into, a, going into a battle, you can take over a soldier. That soldier can then go over and kill the soldier next to them. And ultimately, that helps them. I, it, it seems like an interesting premise. But here's the problem is that they have been marked with the sweet baby kiss of death. Right here, coining a phrase that our friend uh, Yellow Flash has. So uh, this Unknown 9 game, it's coming out very soon, and uh, people have been doing a little bit of digging, because as you know, we have the, uh, the various groups. We talk about Bandai Namco as the, serving as the publisher, but we have the Sweet Baby Inc. Detected group. And you'll notice here that this has been listed as not recommended, uh, down here below because they are directly impacted and and uh, Sweet Baby Inc. has worked on this game uh, from a narrative perspective. How do we know? Well, they've been trying to hide it the last few days as people have been doing a little bit of digging. Um, as you go up here and you look over here on Twitter, it says in the Steam forums for this upcoming game, they started mass banning everyone who mentioned Sweet Baby or said negative things about the game for being woke. It was a total purge. They wiped out 99% of the forum. You can see this person right here getting banned uh, simply by saying, do, do I smell some Sweet Baby in here? People are curious. They're very curious. Um, and they, they, there was no way to potentially tell because uh, as you look at the Sweet Baby Inc. detected group, you can actually see that there have been uh, various things have been been totally removed from the Sweet Baby Inc. website because they no longer are trying to credit the, uh, the work that they've been on because they've, they're seen as a negative at this point. So um, they've had to go through the web archive to make sure that all these games have uh, are, are validated. But they went in and um, with Unknown 9, they've gone in and uh, have this archived version here of them, of them being featured. And people have uh, done a little bit of digging. As, as you scroll down a little, little further, you can see that the actual one of the co-founders of the game is the brand content manager for Unknown 9. And the story architect is the other co-founder of Sweet Baby Inc., Kim Belair. So the two co-founders of this game are working on it. But once again, why are they trying to hide this? Why are they trying to hide the idea that Sweet Baby Inc. is involved? Well, I think we all know the answer why, because they honestly know it's a bad thing at this point. They've been marked. It's the mark of the devil when it comes to releasing of these games, because there are 300,000 people who are, who are interested in not buying games associated with Sweet Baby Inc. You can see uh, this is David Bedard. This is the guy who is seen as the, uh, the main... Um, the main content manager, the brand content manager. Uh, he's also worked on various titles like Assassin's Creed and things like that. Um, so it's, it's amazing to see kind of the backtracking that we're looking at here. Uh, let's go over to Grums and see, as he's talking about um, how the media has gone in and, and played defense based off of uh, the number of reporting, uh, number of reports that have happened with, with Sweet Baby Inc. And pointing out the fact that not not one reporter of the dozens of articles has cited a real and actual racist or homophobic, homophobic remarks of, uh, of the Sweet Baby Inc. employees, nor the harassment that uh, SBI uh, initiated to our boy Cabrutus over here, which is just absolutely crazy, as uh, he says they run smoke screens for the actual racist. Um, and as uh, you know, our, our boy D-Day Cobra says, uh, just keep crushing them with the truth. Right, 100%. Uh, you can see the, the Verge article here 
uh, with you know them just trying to justify the actions. And it's it's honestly sad. It's honestly sad because when you look at this game, um, you go back into their discussions of Unknown 9. This is over on Steam. They can't stop it. You can only hope to contain it. If I can go a little Sports Center 1995 on you. Uh, thanks, Dan Patrick. People saying this game is cooked, looks awful. Um, you know, can you smell it? Obviously a reference to Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, I'd like to thank the developers of the game. I'm going to guess because they're going to say, uh, I know which one to skip. Yep, so I can skip this one, 100%. Um, you can try, but it's not going to happen. And, and the same thing that happened with the original group of Sweet Baby Inc. Detective is now happening, happening with Unknown 9 Awakening, a game that was not on your radar at all, at all. And now you know about it. Uh, but you go in and you actually look at the uh, the IGN preview they had, which was posted uh, you know about two weeks ago, and you can see the ratio that's happened here. People are not happy with this, and you wonder what's going to happen with uh, any game that's associated with SBI moving forward. Um, and it really kind of comes back, if I can go back to Grums, he nails it perfectly here. It says 17,000 game industry jobs tragically lost. AAA is a bloodbath. Think how many, think how many they could have saved if publishers just gave gamers what they wanted. <laughs> Instead, they trashed characters we love, forced DEI down our throats, told us we were evil, gave us stale gameplay with bugs, all while nickel and diving us as much as they possibly could. Like, fucking nails it right there. Absolutely nails it. Um, and once again, I don't think anybody, the vast majority, like there's always going to be bad actors when it comes to uh, giant groups like this. There's going to be people, be people who are take things to the extreme. But I could also argue that from the uh, from the journalistic perspective or the industry perspective. Uh, perspective, there are people who are going to take things to the extreme. But I think the vast majority of people, they have no problem with diversity in video games. They have no problem playing as a black girl or a Persian guy or a white man or whatever. They just want to play games that are fun. It's how it's forced into the game. That's the biggest thing. It's how it's forced in. Does it need to be there? Does it add to the story? And the answer to that with, with most SBI stuff is no. Anyways, let me know your thoughts. Head down to the comments and let me know if you're going to be buying Awakening or Unknown 9 Awakening. Uh, if you knew about this game beforehand, let me know if you like these standalone videos. This is just kind of a test run we're going to do over here. We're going to do a few of these this week and see if you guys are into this stuff. Hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, come join us Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Central Time when we're live for Side Scrollers. We'd love to see you guys there. Hit the thumbs up button. Have a great day. Bye-bye.